All right, guys, welcome back to Into the Bleach, our favorite anime. And, uh, yeah, defend both power plants and, and battle with less than four damage. Okay, so this, this doesn't look so bad. So we get a lot more utility going on now. So we can do something like this now. All right. Well, we got one of those blowing up guys, but that's not a huge threat right now. All right, so what do we have here? So they really want to just fuck up this guy. So here's the thing we can do. We can just ice beam this right now. <laughs> All right. All right, then that's pretty good. I wish I had that for the last boss fight. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, my cloud's no longer... Um, they no longer basically harm them in certain ways, but but we can now do things like this. Because I removed the, the passive for that, which is what these guys are kind of based upon, but I don't think I need it. Alright. We can deal with these pretty easily now. I guess I'll block some of these things. Yeah, so the, the clouds no longer hurt. Whoops. Oh, what do, what do you need to do? Oh. You just sit there. So if I have armor, does that mean he doesn't take damage when they when I block an enemy? Because I don't think it does anymore. Guess we're just gonna uh, heal ourselves. Well, I think we're gonna get hit by acid unless I do something like this. We only have two turns until victory. Let's actually see, because I'm actually curious about that now. Yeah, I know you have an action available, but it's something I want you to do. That frost beam is really OP, though. So it looks like he did take damage. I was kind of curious about that. So it looks like this is a problem, but he's going to hit that thing, so it's all good. Yeah, what's this guy gonna do? I guess we can just... So, let's see, can I repair these mechs and then... Yeah, there you go, see? Less than four mech damage. Hey, I did perfectly, guys. Not what you guys are talking about. Nice. Easy game. It was particularly with that, uh... Oh, good, I got the overpowered, uh, thing now. That's, that's nice. Oh yeah, because it's two uh, energy bolts. All right, well we'll just uh, conveyor belts. Let's do that. Protect the coal plant. Well, I had no way of knowing how this island would start. So, so what do these do? So this this tile will directly push any unit in the direction marked on the belt. Uh, huh. Uh. Let's do something like this. All right, is it like at the end of the turn or what? Can I meme beam these guys? Oh, I totally can. <laughs> All right, looks like he's not pushing that guy, so I think we're still good. Actually, wait, we need to deal with this guy. So yeah, he's not being moved. Actually, would it, would it have, uh... I think I didn't need to do that, because I think the environment would have brought him over there. But we'll see. Actually, wait, this one should bring him over there, so let's see how that works. Actually, it's a good way of seeing. It does it one time, and it apparently also works for flying units. I didn't expect that. I have my, uh, my doubts about how conveyor belts work. So this guy's just not attacking, so we can just, uh, hit him back. Not sure why he's not attacking. I I I actually literally have nothing nothing else to do. I mean, I could kind of bounce over this guy and block one of the things, I guess. But this guy literally has nothing to do. What happens if I? Okay, no, maybe 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 we're not gonna see how that works. Actually, let's just push him onto there. 
And now he's got a shield, which is nice. How long does that shield last for? Nice. Like, they literally cannot do anything. Alright, so they want to really kill this guy, but I can just... Peace out this way. Let's shell this guy first. Because I can block this guy now. This is some seriously OP shit. So wait, this guy, this guy just has, like, just a shield. That's it. I actually was wondering if I could block it with that now, but I guess we won't find out, will we? Oh wait, they both got freed. All right, did not see that coming. All right, well, so he's gonna try and block this, get this guy, but that's okay. Uh huh. Kind of need to deal with that guy though. I mean, shield doesn't really mean much. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> he, oh, he hit that thing! Oh. Ah, oh, that's fucking cool. Okay, I actually like the conveyor belts. It's really fucking neat. Because it, 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 it took action before everything else. Alright, defend the disposal unit, destroy all the mountains, and uh, protect the gold plant. Alright. So there's a couple of guys here. So we only really realistically need like two turns to deal with that thing, but that's okay. Oh, good pod. All right. So we have the ability to do this and we can just, you know, this, this is a pretty good turn right here kill most of them. I would like to kill that thing too. So this guy gets two hits off. Um, we have to deal with this as well though. But we, we have the back smoke, right? Well, you know, we always have an undo turn, so... option. Uh, you know, let's just fucking try this. Attack cancelled, that's it. Okay. So we're just gonna kill this thing. I just noticed that nothing spawned. It's unfortunate that I don't have the thing to kill things, so. Alright. Probably just good. Might as well right now to spend the turn doing that. Does that smoke last forever? I think it does. I mean, particularly if I just hang out here, you know. Wow, I really do that much damage? Because he's taking a lot of damage. I would have preferred he would have just sat on one of the tiles, but... I mean, just killing his ass works too. Actually, we can still do that. We'll just sit on top of that. So it looks, it looks like that, like the smoke just never goes away, which is nice. Um, Alright, so how are we going to deal with some of these threats? So this guy gets to go first and does two damage. Thing is, I think for the most part I can just kind of kill this guy in one hit. I can kill most things in one hit. Alright, we can just deal with these mountains. Alright. Well, let's have a look here. Uh, so the, the plan is always to try and get them to kill more than one. 
right? But I don't think they're going to be in any position for that, so... Uh, I can instantly kill one of them in this map. Um, I can disable one as well. So the thing is, I can kill this thing. Well, I can't. It won't. He won't die. But yeah. Uh. I think this thing might actually just take damage. Well, okay. Let's let's be let's be straight. Um, here. These two need to go. They actually chose a pretty good place here. They have one, two, three. Okay, you know what? Actually, this is not that bad. Because I can deal with all of them, I think, in some one way or another. Uh, some are difficult to deal with. Okay, let's do this. So that guy's just dead. I can just deal with this guy like that. Because he can't really do much else, and he's flying anyways, he doesn't get affected by the acid. And then I either move this guy out of the way, or the other guy I kill. And I think I'm just going to move him out of the way. And we can kill this guy. Alright. Easy enough. So much for achievements, though. Okay. Well, I got like like most of them. The, the cloud one was really hard to get. Even when I was sort of trying to get it, I wasn't able to. It's a sad story. All right, we got Lily Reed now. Plus three move on the tur on the first turn of every mission. Okay, that would be an, actually an excellent one for this one. Impulsive. Uh, we get three grid defense though. So like having this guy positioned really well for really good repulse at the beginning of the mission is actually, or a frost beam. Like, that's also a really good option there. You get both, either one of those, those are good. Uh, destroy acid vats. Alright, what do these do? Transform the current on death. So it, it spills acid. This is an acid vat. So we're supposed to destroy both of those. Very interesting. Lily, we know it. We know the pod's on the way. All right. What does this thing do? They heal at the, the start of their turn. Ah. Uh, see, I'm thinking I should have actually pushed him back into that, but I can't do that anymore. That's okay, though. Here's a question, don't we want to save the vats for maybe another situation? Maybe not this one. Wait, did that not count as killing it? Or maybe you get both at once, or what? How does this work? That may not have counted. Or maybe you just get both at once, I don't know. Alright, what's this thing do? It's, uh, explode killing itself and damaging adjacent units. Kill it first to stop it, alright. I guess I'm supposed to destroy both of them. It's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> Easiest game of my life, I guess. Oh, I just made that into acid. Oh yeah, okay, so it is both at once. Okay. Let's just, uh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's not, let's not move them there. Because I'll just deal with whatever, sp it's just one. All right, um, so we can't really do much else here, and the other problem is that fucking everyone's in the way now. So actually, guess we're just gonna kill him. Fuck. Okay, we may be just breaking everybody free, but I suppose that is better than the alternative. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, ah, I have an idea, I have an idea. I have an idea, let me reset the turn. I, I just got an idea. All right, let's move this guy right here. Let's break him free for him. 
And uh, I'll just even fucking do this a bit. He'll kill him for me. That's it. If he wants to do that, then that, I'm good with that. Uh, can't really do much else here, so. Yeah, yeah, let them kill each other, exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Alright, so. So we have victory in one turn, so all we really have to do is just prevent them from harming anybody, honestly. Even then, it's really not a big deal. Because they don't do anything. That laser is so good, actually. <laughs> yeah, eat shit. Whoops. Oh, I wanted him to eat shit. Why can't you do it? Oh, that's why. I, I was clicking on him for some reason, I don't know. Alright, we've just confirmed that ice is just OP as hell, alright? There's nothing more OP in this game. Maybe I could have iced the boss in the first one. I don't know if I had it at the time. Destroy five degrees, protect the corporate tower. Uh, goody. I know this one. Yeah, this one is a splitting motherfucker, so yeah. He's got problems. And then we have one of these blue pieces of shit, too. Alright, so... Things look a little dire right now. Not gonna lie. So, the thing is, we definitely want this guy to do it, because no matter what he does, he's gonna squish the tile that he wants to go to, which is this one. Um, the unfortunate thing is it makes the game a little bit harder for us. And also he moves one tile, so I can't just simply move him onto this tile. That doesn't really work. Um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta have a couple of issues. Now, the smart thing to do would probably be to move this guy down here a little bit. Thing is, we have to do something about this guy too. Um, I think the best idea for this actually is actually just to smoke screen him so he can't do anything with his turn. That's the first thing. Second thing is I need to move this guy out of the way, and I need to also move the other guy out of the way. So I think what we're gonna do is not this. Or we we could actually just freeze everything there, honestly. So you know, let's do that. Let's do this. Uh, this guy is gonna just shoot over here somewhere, and then we're gonna freeze that. That was a bad idea. Yeah, because it just, it just occurred to me that these things are in the way. Maybe I can just move it there. No. Alright, let's reset the turn. This is difficult. So we really need this guy to move. So what we can do is we can move this person here and laser the entire way over. Doesn't destroy the goos though. Um, okay, but it's a little bit better than the pun I had before. We're gonna be unfortunately on acid. We're always on acid. Alright, that's not as bad. I think we may skip on the optional for this one. Destroying the goose. Alright, so this is this is not so bad. Not as bad. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we move this guy over this way. Which means we need to do something like with Abe, like here. Because then he'll hit that. How much damage does he do? Three. What's the order? So this guy's going to do three damage to the goo. Oh, wait, this thing's gonna take damage. Fuck. Okay, whatever, we lost. 
Uh, and that thing hit that. We lost. Fuck. And this is the problem with the goose. The goose are little pieces of shit, to be honest, so. Right, I'll put you on that. Let's, let's ice beam this all the way down. Wait, why can't I hit that? Are these guys immune to ice? Or maybe I can't freeze the town, which I didn't realize that was a mechanic until now. But we can freeze this way. So that's still good. Let's just accept the fact that we're not going to really... Okay, so we can either move this guy out of the way, or I think we're gonna have to move him into the way of this guy. But I don't want him to block that thing. So I, I don't think we can't, we, we'd have to basically go right here then, and then push him over there. Which means we're, we have acid on us, but that's okay. That way we're blocking these, these guys. Uh, that shield's really nice, actually. Yeah, so we're good. Yeah, we, we didn't do the optional here, but we, we did everything else, so it's all good. So. Uh, we, we didn't kill the boss, because he, he splits too much, and it's the same kind of problem with overwhelming me when, you know, I have other stuff, you know. So, because he splits many, many times. Alright, so the, that guy upgraded a little bit. That's okay. I, I determined that was the best thing to do. Oh, that's a nice cannon. Rail cannon. Oh shit, we may need this. Oh shit. Uh, dude, how can I refuse a rail gun? Okay, let's do. Let's get the rail gun. <laughs> Free, freeze yourself and the target. No. Vulcan artillery. Light the target on fire and push it adjacent tiles. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. We need, we need railgun class weapons. This is what I've determined. Fuck ramming engines. Even though that's a really bad idea, but still. Plus one max damage. Unnecessary, but I will accept it? No. It's completely necessary. Alright, what else do we have to sell? Fuck the ramming so things. It sounded like railgun, so I need it. Uh, I only have one reactor core left. Do I want to upgrade the power grid, or do I want to get another reactor core? Let's see. Let's see what the upgrades are for some of these guys. Maybe we can get some HP for some of these guys or something. We don't want a shield friendlies. I really like the frost beam though. Okay, this is not as great. All right, you know what? We're gonna go with the uh, power. Nah, you yeah, fuck it. Uh, we have actually we have two things for health. So it's installed on this. Actually, yeah, we'll get the reactor then. This is a mistake I will I will surely regret all in due time. This guy gets a shield, so I don't think he needs it. And also, I'm sure I'll regret that all in due time. All right, well, let's go to the final island. Like I said, I'll, I'll keep it in. Let's, uh, let's get the party started. Okay, because of the thing that, the reason I, I've done this before, so is it just going to do this intro again? I guess it is. The answer is yes. Yes, it will. Alright. Hmm. I, okay, so I'm assuming that the freeze won't reset during like the second phase of this. What's the rail cannon do? <laughs> Important questions first. What does the rail cannon do? Actually, wait, undo that. Actually, I think this is—I think this is silly to do. Kinda, I kind of want to move them onto that tile.
I want to move them onto these tiles. Okay, I think I know how we're going to do this. Or maybe I don't. Game's difficult. Kind of want to, I want to kind of hit that tile. Okay, maybe what we'll do is we'll do this. Hit him away. We're blocking one now. We killed one. lava tile and also he gets hit by his friend I think maybe probably not but but in the, in the ideal world it probably would have happened and this guy has more HP so that's nice all right so volcano happens first so that's not a problem a lot of this shit isn't a problem actually so uh, we just realistically need to move them onto tiles they don't want to be on. So this guy being over here would be not so bad. Because it's just instant death for them. Oh wait, he can't move at all. Huh. Did not think about that. I mean, then again, it's not really a problem. I could just railgun this guy into this platform. And this guy really can't do anything now. <laughs> he super can't do anything. That's all good though. They're all gonna... They're all gonna die to random shit like this. And then we're just blocking all of them. Okay. Uh, this would be the play right here. And then railgun that. Alright, I have the play then. You two go away. Uh, you can get railgunned. And this one can... What is he actually trying to hit out of that? I mean, I could freeze him. Because if I push him up, it won't do anything. If I push him back, it will actually be perfectly fine, so... Now nah, he's worthless. You know, I'm just going to casually just sit on these spawn points forever, you know? Because that's legitimate. Oh, uh, it's the tentacle monster. Hate that thing. We got, we got victory in one turn, so... I mean, really, what would be the smart thing to do would be to uh, try and do as much damage as humanly possible and then heal. Well, not, not do as much damage as humanly possible, I meant like repair. So we just like repulse these guys. Oh, whoops, I just put him into fire. That's okay though, we can repair. So now they don't do anything I, and I actually got some repairs off, so you know. Because I, th I, think, I think they don't care, oh wait, he gets the attack off. Huh, I, I forgot about that. Sometimes you forget. Because he's... They, did they come with us? I, I forget if they come with us. I guess they do come with us. No, they don't. They just, they just die. Alright. The hive's huge. Are we supposed to destroy it? Yeah. We destroy it through memes. Oh, cool! <laughs> I fucking crushed them. Uh, all right, so we gotta deal with this guy. This guy's a dick. But I have, I have my ways. All right, so this guy is just gonna hate everything around him. So we don't really care about him. What we want to do is we want to push this guy out of the way. But this can be a job for Mr. Artillery here. Because then, because the caverns will break first. 
And I was thinking of having this guy just meme freeze these guys. Can we deal with this guy? No. I, I just... I don't, we don't care. I mean, does any of this matter? Everything's full HP already, so whatever. Eat shit. There you go. Oh, is this the... Yeah, it's the Scion again. Alright, so some of this now we do have to deal with. Particularly the Scion. Okay, so apparently he does no damage at point blank, but I, I can't say I did not see that coming. Alright, I would like to get rid of this guy. We have another Freeze available as well. So this thing also does a shit ton damage. Alright, so I'm thinking that I go here and I push him back. Does he actually get pushed back? I don't think he does. Opposed to if I push back... Oh no, maybe it does get pushed back. Alright. Uh, so we need to probably freeze this guy. Um, trying to think of the best way of handling this. I mean, the other thing we could do is we could go here and maybe push him back one tile? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's fuck that guy. And I could just kind of freeze some shit here, I think. I mean, this thing actually is actually not in the way of anything. I just have to move out of the way and we're fine. And this guy... Okay, maybe he won't be able to deal with that. Uh oh, okay. I don't think he's gonna be able to deal with that like I thought. Or she or whatever. It didn't occur to me, but I actually don't have space to get into there. And I don't know if I really care to reset my turn in this case. It's gonna do two damage actually, so I have to reset my turn. Actually, yeah, I maybe could do. It would freeze my own guy though. With victory in three turns. Do we do the ballsy play? I think I'm going to be fucked if I do this. Whatever. I've done worse things. Oh, the Scion attack saved me. Nice. I didn't know that would actually happen first. Also, it hit the, the bomb? Luckily the bomb has HP. <laughs> All right, we've seen some shit. Okay, we got victory in two turns here. So, let's have a look here. Uh, so these two guys are assholes, so this guy. I don't have any more meme freezes though. That's the problem, is I, I used up my freeze and then that's pretty much it, you can't... I have nothing else for that. Anyways, I think this is fine, I just have to move him down one tile. Maybe, or move this guy up a tile. If I just accept that this is dead, what's, what order is it going? No, okay, no, maybe, maybe not accept that that thing's dead. Um, fuck. <laughs> Thing is, I could push this guy onto this tile, but we kind of want the bomb to live. But the bomb won't take a, an enormous amount of damage, though. So maybe that's how we'll do it. Because three damage is a lot of damage to the power grid. Like these two guys have got to go. So if I like, let's say I go. Oh, I can't exactly go down there and deal with that. Why is all the fucking rocks falling there? Right? Like that limited my options so much, actually. So annoying. Alright. Uh, hmm. I, I don't know if I really have a solution for both of these fellas. Because no matter what, I think something's gonna die here. 
So I think I should just push this guy into here, prevent one more from spawning. Problem is this guy's just not useful here. I mean, I can I can bring him up here. No, I can't bring him up there. That, that doesn't do anything. Fucking out. Like this guy has no no options for moving. I can I can at most just kind of block over here. That's the best I can do. So it's okay. So let's 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 just let's just uh, establish what we can and can't do. Um, this guy can't do anything other than then attack this guy, I'm pretty sure. This guy can't do anything other than blocking that. So it's up to this guy to basically just take out one of these. And I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think, no, it doesn't, it's horrible. Maybe do that. Okay, that's the bigger threat, so what, what are we gonna do with that? Okay, so I have two options here. I can either move the bomb slightly to the side, but that gets hit. Or I can block the shot to begin with, which I might actually do, but I, I can't, I can't attack, I can't use this thing to get the shield, because this will be moved up here and then dies. So, I think this is the best we could do, is like, just this, and just repair ourselves, in anticipation for the damage that we are about to receive. It was just unfortunate that that stuff all blocked there, it gave me a lot less options for what to do here. Alright. All right, so caverns are about to explode. Watch out for flying rocks and lava. All right, so he's trying to hit that. Um, so we can go over here and kind of hit them. Okay, so this guy's not a problem, so let's not worry about him anymore. This thing is going to be in the way of the bomb, so... Huh. Okay, there, this is so complex right now, actually. This is uh, pretty interesting. So, this thing's in the way here now. Wish I had more freezing beam, honestly. So we need to deal with this guy. It's gonna want to hit our bomb, right? Uh, huh. So I'm thinking I knock these two guys out. I don't care about these guys as much. Huh. I'm just wondering what to do with this guy. That would be a really nice action. Because I, I, have, I have nothing for him. Because this guy's range is like... Nothing. I, I mean, I could go here and then, like, do this. Doesn't do that much, though. Okay, I can hit this guy, actually. So I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this guy to move this out of the way so the bomb doesn't die. This might be the best thing we can do. Uh, make sure this doesn't fuck up. Okay, this guy's gonna hit that. This guy's gonna I, like one thing. Something's gonna get hit. That's all I can tell you. All right, we can go here and we can knock these two out of the way so one of them dies and the other one is in kind of trouble. So I think we're only really taking one damage, especially with that going on. Oh, he decided. Oh, he resisted it. Okay, that's nice. Oh, the bomb went off. A timeline was saved once again by the least strategical mind in the galaxy. Me. Alright. I don't think I can skip this. I, I actually can't. Okay. There we go. So, we can now select another pilot here. I actually do like this guy, but 
Um, I think I want to unlock more people, right? So I think I gotta choose this because you change time travel. Oh no, you just get everybody now. Or did I ever unlock that guy? I don't even remember. Yeah, I, okay, I guess I don't need that then anymore. Well, good to know. Doesn't matter anymore. All right, so I have, um, let's look at my squad. I have eight coins now. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. I, 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 cause I had five before. I'm not sure how I got five. Cause all I did was I tried to do like the one coin thing again. So we missed one achievement, but that's okay. Uh, so I guess we're gonna just go kind of in order. So we can do Zenith Guard next. Uh, but we'll see what that is next time. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, that's it for this run. So uh, take care, everyone. Goodbye.